This is a model of the respiratory system showing the anatomical structures associated with breathing. So we'll follow the air from the outside going through the nostrils, the nasal passages or nasal cavity, to the pharynx, down into the larynx, through the trachea, into the primary bronchi, then the secondary bronchi, then the tertiary bronchi, into the bronchioles, to the respiratory bronchioles, to the alveolar ducts, to the alveoli. When the air gets into the alveoli, alveoli, the oxygen and the carbon dioxide will be exchanged through the walls of the alveoli and the lung capillaries. So the blood will get rid of the carbon dioxide and it will pick up the oxygen from the air in the alveoli. All of these structures are shown on the model. So if we take a look at the head area, we notice the nose, the nasal cavity. We notice the three bones inside of the nasal cavity. These are the turbinates, or they are also called the superior, middle, and inferior canchi. We also no notice two of the paranasal sinuses. The ones we notice in here are, are the frontal sinus and the sphenoid sinus. And we also notice in the head area the tongue. And on top of the tongue we notice the hard palate, the soft palate. We also notice sections of the bone of the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Also visible on the model are two tonsils, one at the base of the tongue, that's the lingual tonsil, and the one right below the soft palate, that's the palatine tonsil. We notice in this model the larynx, we notice some of the cartilages. So what's shown in blue color are cartilages. We notice the epiglottis on top of the opening to the larynx. We notice the section of the thyroid. We also notice sections of the cricoid cartilage. In the trachea, we can see the cartilage rings. We can also see these cartilage rings in the primary and secondary and tertiary bronchioles. If we take a look at the lungs, we notice that around the lungs there is a membrane, that's the pleura, and then the chest where the ribs are found, we notice sections of the bones of the ribs, and in between the bones, we notice intercostal muscles, which are involved in a breathing. And then on one area here, below the right lung, we notice another muscle important for breathing, and that is the diaphragm. If we take a look at the other part of the model here, we notice on the top the terminal bronchioles, then the branches from there 
These are the respiratory bronchioles. And then if we follow one of these respiratory bronchioles, they show us a section of the alveolar duct. And around the alveolar duct, we notice round structure. Those are the alveoli or the air sacs. That's where the exchange of gases take place. And on this part of the model in here, we can see that each alveolus is surrounded by extensive blood capillaries. And the blood in these capillaries will get rid of carbon dioxide and pick up the oxygen from the air in the alveoli.